Today's episode of the Spud Fit Cooking Show is brought to you by Tessarero and Luca. Uh, bro, what are they? Tessarero and Luca Brothers. I do, that's what it is. It's a fresh fruit and veggie shop in Battle Club uh, on Carlisle Road. Carl Street. Carl Street, number 250. They're the best. Look what they look what I got today. You know, you know, no, it's not Elsinore, it's Battle Club. Oh, it's in my car, sorry. Yeah, Battle Club. Carlisle Street, Battle Club, 250. Right. It's the best. Look what I got today. They are the best. Look at those. Yeah. Kip flour potatoes. Oh, under the light. Under the yeah. light. There we go. Kip flour potatoes. Look at them. Aren't they a sight? Ugly food. That's what we're eating. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Look at that. <laughs> that doesn't match your head at all. <laughs> Oh, it's got a little spider coming off it. Oh. Hello, little buddy. Can't eat that, it's cheating. Oh. We'll save you before. <laughs> All the we... protein people are oh. like, that's protein. <laughs> um, I'm um, trying to avoid I insects, can't see. Oh, yeah. mostly. So let's put it against the white background here. Oh, I can't see no, anything. He's, just, he's trying to get away from you. That's oh, there he is, there he is, yeah. yeah. Put him on the white wall. And you might be able to see him against oh, the wall there. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Hi, Sean. There you go. Stay on the wall there. There you go. All right. Saved your life. Oh, then. good. All right. <laughs> well, there you go. Ugly food. Let's find another one. Look at them. Apparently, these are delicious. Brendan from uh, Tessarero and Luca tells me that the kip, kip flip potatoes are the ones. They look ugly, though, don't they? Maybe we'll start a new trend. Instead of that eating clean thing that's all the rage at the moment. Eat dirty. Eat ugly. <laughs> you are going to wash them out. I'm going to wash them, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I'm going to wash them and then we're going to eat totally them. your style again. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I got them today. And I got these ones too. Well. Oh, got those ones too. I have a very funny friend yeah. that used to and say <laughs> our deputy principal looked like a scrub his own potato. <laughs> and she did. Now I look at them. Mm, I have no one who knows that person watches this. Anyway. Either of those people. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, kip flip potatoes. I've never had them before. We're going to make some today, though. I've got a box of them here. When you say make, that's stretching it really, isn't it? Oh, well, hey. You haven't been too nitpicky here. We're going to cook some kip flip potatoes. So, first thing I'm going to do is wash them. You're just pulling a brush. Hey? I think I probably need a brush. Hey, who's the cook here? Why are you going to be involved in this thing? I'm going to get a brush because I want to. I'm not that brush. Oh. I'm trying to use a... Well, I'm using it. What? A dish brush. It's going to clean the potatoes, isn't it? It cleans dishes, it can clean potatoes. So gross, that's gross. So you need to buy a brush to scrub potatoes. I don't have a brush. Jeez. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's as clean as it's getting. That's all I'm concerned about what I've been eating. Well, I've been buying potatoes that were already clean. Right, clean potato, yeah. put it in the tray, get a fork, stab it. Stab it a few times, and there it is. So, I'm going to fill. I'm not going to make film the whole thing, but I'm going to fill this tray with kip flip potatoes, cleaned with a dish brush, and stabbed with a fork. And then I'll see you when I've done that. <laughs> this is for Turn real. it off. <laughs> right. Him. Yeah. Nah. Right. Here we are. I've got a tray full of scrubbed and stabbed, fork stabbed, kip flip potatoes. I have said before, I do keep it simple. People keep asking me for recipes though, and more <laughs> things on how to cook. I keep it simple. This is what I do. Well, this is, I've only done kip for potatoes, actually never. This is the first time. But this is what I would do. They are more complicated than chap potatoes. If I had chap potatoes, I'd just open the bag and empty them on the tray and put them in the oven. And that'd be my whole cooking show done. <laughs> By the way, look in the sink. Can you see the dirt on the camera? Yeah, oh, no. yeah you can. That's like... I've refilled the sink twice, so that's mm. only half the dirt. Mm. A lot of dirt. I think um, calling it a cooking show is a little bit misleading. Am I cooking? I don't know. I don't know if this is called cooking. Of course it's cooking. I'm about to cook. Yeah, there's a cooking show. By the way, one of the bonuses of having a YouTube cooking show, which I do have, 
found this in my wife, is that the dishes get washed. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's by me. I did suggest moving into the other room. <laughs> So if you're washing. broadcasting your kitchen to the world, you wash the dishes. Washing so, the there you go. To tidy everything uh, anyway, so, next. Andrew made that spice rack. Hey, focus on me. Whose cooking show is this? So, it's still a bag. They go in, it is all Ego, ego is already gone. <laughs> I'm a global star, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so, they go in the oven, like that. Yeah. And then you put it to 180 still degrees. Still recovering last comment. 180 degrees Celsius. That's what I do. You can do whatever you want. Uh, put it on to the, totally the little picture <laughs> with the fan. He's not a real cook. Put it onto the little picture with the fan and then set the timer for 50 minutes. That's what I do with chat potatoes. They're also small, so um, I'm figuring that that's probably what I'll do with this as well. And we'll see what happens. I think that's, oh, yeah. We'll come over, we'll get back to you in 50 minutes when it's time to eat one. <laughs> the potatoes are smelling amazing. So I thought I'd come in and check them. There is six minutes left on my timer. Let's have a look. You can't really see that well, can you? This might have been a bad idea. I'll get them out. Hang on. I'll get them out. I'll just get the tea towel. Sorry, hand in the way. I'll pull them out a bit. Oh, there you go. Now you can see them. They're looking good. Skin getting all nicely wrinkled up. I might need another 10, I reckon. I originally put uh, 50 minutes on the timer, but now it looks like it's going to end up being 55. Let's see how we go. Alright, I'm just going to get the. Uh, Keep the potatoes out of the oven. The buzz has just gone off. So let's have a look. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. There we go. Ugly food. We're eating ugly. Yum. Enough of this eating clean. We're eating mega foods, potatoes, instead of superfoods, and we're eating ugly. They're a bit hot at the moment, so I'm going to put them down here to cool. And. What? <laughs> Laughing at me all the time. Come you're a culinary master. Is that what you want? I'm a what? A culinary. I'm <laughs> a culinary master. <laughs> I thought you said I'm a colouring master. Colouring? No, no. You... I'm even worse at colouring <laughs> than I am at cooking. You're a colour blind. <laughs> you forgot. All right, gonna come back in a few minutes when they're cool. I don't know what I'm about to feel me. Oh, have you started? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to tell me you've started. <laughs> right, they're cool. I'm going to eat one. They're so cool. They are, look at that. This is ugly food at its best. I'm going to eat his little knob little... off. What's that? I don't know, a little bit. I'm it's about fluffy. to eat. That one's blowing on me. It's quite good. It tastes very potato -y. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good though, have a bite. Mm. Mm, it's good. I can't believe I have food envy. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> of you. Um, so, now I've got a plate over here. Oh, what am I doing? Got this plate. Mm. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic chilli salt on it. Pinch. Yeah, let's give them a little bit of plug. Oh, okay. They're they're a Wayhill Farm. They're from Gippsland in Victoria. From Gippsland, Australia. made and packed by Wayhill Farm, 805 Currumburra Warrigal Road, Ransby, Victoria. Wayhill W E Y H I L L Farm. Yeah. dot com. dot au. I bought them at a uh, farmers market. Bought it for you. We bought. It was bought. We have no sponsorship. But it's delicious. No, just I just found it at a farmer's market on the weekend. Yeah. It's good enough. I'm just disclosing that we yeah, have. No. <laughs> there's no, we're not getting any money for this ad. No. It's just, it's delicious. You should get some. So, there's <laughs> not a getting pinch. any money for any ad. Well, I've got free potatoes, haven't I? I, need I? To. I don't have free garlic salt, no. though. So, just a, one pinch wasn't enough. Two little pinches. And a bit of tomato sauce. Nice tomato sauce. Oh, good luck. And then we'll just. A little bit. That'll do it. Right now, 
let's try um, with tomato sauce. I told you I keep it simple. There you go. Simple spud pick meal. That was so, breakfast too, right? Yeah, well those ones are there we breakfast. This is dinner. Can I have some? Okay. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> with the making right. of the video. Yeah, of course you can. You can have as many as you want. There's a whole box there you can <laughs> clean your own. No, no, because we're gonna have a very good brush. <laughs> well, you better not, not eat any then. They were clean with a dishbrush, weren't they? I'm gonna have a look at this. Come on, if they can clean dishes, they can clean a potato. Almost um, like chips. Hey, can I finish the video? Oh, yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> Sorry. Stealing my potatoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a very simple spud fit recipe. That's. Oh, they're all very so I, I just keep it simple. Anyway, if you like it, then press like. And if you want to, if you've got any questions, comment below, down below. The best thing you could do for me is to share this video. Not that anyone would care what's on it because it's so boring. But anyway, <laughs> but <laughs> just you know. share, share my stuff mm. and help me out. And um, anyway, till next week. Not next week. Yeah, next week. Spud Pit Cooking Show. I'll do it weekly. Why not? <laughs> Um, thanks for watching. Cheers. We have a knobby bit.